Introduction The story behind the origination of Book of Truths, teachings of Jesus and Celestials, is simply amazing. Startling as this may be, the origin of this book begins in another world, another dimension, and another place. In heaven! The story may be told like this. For centuries, individuals such as Jesus, John, Luke, and many others, now living in the spirit world and all very close to our Heavenly Father, have communicated the truths of the Father to people on earth with varying degrees of success. Their efforts to convey a broad range of truths with greater clarity than available in our sacred and spiritual writings, however, brought few satisfactory results. Then early in the 20th century, these spirits found a man through whom they could communicate their truths. His name was James Paget. James was born in 1852 in Washington, D.C. Through the influence of a neighbor, he became an attorney. In 1881, he married Helen Hayde, the love of his life, who would have an unexpected influence on him after her death. Helen died in February 1914 at the age of 51. James had loved Helen deeply and longed to stay close to her. He visited a seance and was successful in communicating with her. He also was told that he himself had psychic talents which he was encouraged to develop. He did, with surprising results. In December 1915, in response to an article in Biblical World, James wrote, First permit me to state that I am a practical lawyer of 35 years' experience, and as such not inclined to attempt allegations of fact as true without evidencing proof. I was born and reared in an Orthodox Protestant church, Methodist, and until quite recently remained orthodox in my beliefs, that upon the suggestion being made to me that I was a psychic, I commenced to receive, by way of automatic writing, messages from what was said to be messages from the spirit world. And since that time, I have received messages upon many subjects, but mostly as to things of a spiritual and religious nature not orthodox as to the errancy of the Bible. Side note, see testimony of James Paget on page 5. A close friend of James during this period in his life was Dr. Leslie R. Stone, a chiropractor. In a personal testimony, Dr. Stone wrote the following about James. At this point, I must state that I was very often in Paget's room when he was receiving these writings, and that I am the eyewitness to the formation and development of Mr. Paget as the medium par excellence through whom the truths of the Heavenly Father and life in the spirit world has, have come to mankind. My first contact with him was in September 1914. Mr. Paget invited me to visit him regularly at his home in Washington, D.C. Paget told me that the messages he was receiving were from his wife, Helen, who had died early that year. She had written him many things about the spirit life she was living, describing her experiences at the time of her death, the, spear, the sphere of her spiritual abode, and her love for her husband in the flesh, who she had then discovered was her soulmate. I was thereafter very often present as he continued to receive these messages. They came in a rapid sweep of connected words that obviously gave no time for thought on the part of the writer, and in fact he often insisted that he had no clear idea of what his pencil was writing until he read the messages afterwards. It was in this way, then, that he received from 1914 to 1923 some 2,500 messages, many of them coming, I have not the slightest doubt, from those highest spirits whose signatures are a testimony to the personalities they represented. Two, excerpt from a testimony that Dr. Stone wrote in 1915, in 1959 or 1960, 
for the republication of the messages under the title of True Gospel Revealed Anew by Jesus. This four-volume set of books is available at divinelove.org or by writing to the Foundation Church of the New Birth, P.O. Box 6, Williamsville, New York, 14231. James Paget continued to practice law until his death in 1923 and never accepted money in exchange for receiving communications from the spirit world. He was not surrounded with a large group of devoted followers and did not become the leader of a new religious movement. His closest lawyer associates were unaware of his psychic abilities. He did not consider himself to be someone special, and even to this day, the name James Paget is not widely known. Though James experienced periods of doubt, he developed into an extremely successful medium for receiving spirit communications. His friend, Dr. Leslie Stone, made the statement that James had received as many as 2,500 messages from the spirit world. Whether this number is accurate has not been substantiated. Students of the Paget messages have been able to authenticate approximately 1,030 messages. Side note three there. There are 866 messages included in this book. Side note four. The messages in Book of Truths reveal information such as the realities of the spirit and soul universe, the qualities and attributes of the creator, laws of divine love and natural love, qualities of absolute truth, understanding the human soul, spirit body and mortal body, soul progression on earth and in the spirit world, spiritual laws such as the law of compensation and the law of attraction, the two paths of spiritual development as first presented by Jesus in the first century, each path resulting in the purification of the soul, but only one path resulting in eternal progression, complete happiness, and immortality. The major theme of the basic principles governing the reception of divine love by the human soul is also covered. The spirit communications in this book are arranged by order of the date received by James Paget. The messages do not begin with a heavenly announcement, and they do not immediately reveal vitally important celestial revelations of divine truth. The Spirit's writing through James Paget begins slowly with gentleness. The writings begin with letters from James' wife and family and friends. You will see this same pattern of gradualness followed when Jesus and other celestial spirits begin their communications. The messages in Book of Truth were given by the spirit world over a period of six years, nearly 100 years ago. Though these messages are timeless, we are encouraged not to cease in our love and search for God's truth. Jesus, in a message in a messages dated June 7, 1920, wrote the following. Just here, I want to say that while the great vital truth of the new birth is already known to you and can be made known to men, yet you in your day will not receive all the truths of the infinite. Always new truths will come to the knowledge of men, and the revelations of truth will never have finality, and no man or spirit can ever be able to say that his knowledge is complete. Progress is the one law of the universe that exists always. And man, when he gets in condition, will always be the object and subject of that law. My prayer is that this book will bless you in such a way that your spiritual journey will be lifted to higher levels of desire for God's truth and love, and that your soul will feel the very deep love that our Heavenly Father has for you and all his children. I close this introduction using words from a message that Cornelius the first Gentile Christian, wrote on September 12, 1916. I hope that I may succeed in helping the cause of truth. Joseph Babinski, Prescott, Arizona, January 10, 2010. Side note 3. The source of this information is from the website www.newbirth.net where messages received by James Paget were first available in chronological order. 
This is also the website where I first saw the Paget messages in May of 2006. Side note four of the messages omitted from Book of Truths are those which are duplicates, repetitive messages, short messages that serve only to confirm a previous writer, some messages by, quote, dark spirits, messages relating to events of World War I, and messages that higher spirits suggest are not helpful to the main purpose of their communications, e.g. messages by Leibniz, Leibniz? Spinoza, Longiticus, and others. See page 667 for the list of omitted messages.